Now we'll go into the Q&A. We'll answer all your questions the best of my abilities, especially all the stuff we just went over. And we'll go from there. But if you got to go, thanks so much for stopping by. Hit the like and subscribe on your way out. That's it. Thanks for stopping by. Let's get into <laughs> Q&A. Oh, yeah. And one more thing. I just completed the videos for uh, Cosmos or Atom and the near protocol staking on the ledger. Those will all be out on Friday as I'll be traveling to Houston. So that is it. Let's get into the good stuff. This is my favorite part of the day. Favorite part of the, the video. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Uh, disclaimer, not financial legal tax advice. This channel is for intent is only. It's just an opinion. Dan is not an expert, obviously, or a financial planner. Perform your own research. Thank you, Vicky. But some people actually remind me to do that. I keep forgetting to do that. I should probably do that. <laughs> Cam's video is Voyager News coming out this week. FTX and the, um, the buyout and what that means for VGX holders. <laughs> Bitcoin without electricity is nothing. Well, that's no truer statement has been. That's true. Why, thank you, Sass Crypto. I'm looking dapper today because it's cold. Like, I'm not good for cold weather. Texas is usually like a hot place. And uh, right now it's around 59, 60 or something like that. Anything below 70 for me is no good. Before anybody talks about, ah, oh, that's weak. You know, I, can, I, I live in a place where it's 50, 40 degrees all the time. Well, okay. Why don't you come and work construction with me when it's 120 degrees or higher? See how, we, how you fare then. Because <laughs> that's what it is here. All right. Tommy, sweat coin was vesting. You could sweater vests. That's a good one. I do like that. Quant still rolling. Boy, you, for the, I don't own quants. I never really got into it, but tip of the hat to everybody who's been investing in a quant. And I got to tell you that uh, the circulating, the, the max in circulating supply is so low. Should have got into it. Missed that one. I'll miss a lot more. Come on out. It's a good question, Beardy. When is Jarky? Jarky is a great person. <laughs> wouldn't, need to, wouldn't need to apply for a loan of Beardy pay for a membership. Beardy's cheap. Beardy's got all his crypto or all his funds tied up in EOS. You can't expect much from Beardy. Come on. Anybody at Walmart? No, McDonald's. Gotta, gotta make sure I get that, that new job. I want to be able to afford a new green screen. That'd be nice. <laughs> so he says, Bitcoin is the fool's gold. Eh, we'll find out. Let's see. I think that's it. I guess I answered all the questions. Selden said, semiconductors need silver and gold. Exactly. Well, it needs gold for sure. And China makes the chips, the U.S. eats them. And I think uh, that's all. Well, great. <laughs> going straight from Mickey D's assistant manager with the vest. No, no, I'm going for straight management. Ah. <laughs> uh... The bill. If I if I go for the Bill Gates look, at least I would have his money. You're welcome, Becky. Now I guess this one's gonna be tight. Ah, only money. Blocks average ten minutes, but sometimes two can be found in a single minute. And occasionally, sometimes can take more than an hour. It happens. Yeah, there you go. I just have never heard of that. So that's it. Oh, uh, let's see. Now I know it's time to go because we're getting the. Uh... Oh, thanks. Thanks, admi admins. Everybody wiped out that, uh, that spam very quickly. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, Reaper Man says, hey, I just got here. It's all over. Here's, here's the whole story in a nutshell. Uh, it took 85 minutes for the Bitcoin, Bitcoin to, to mint a block. Sometimes that happens apparently every 33 days. Never heard of it, but just want to bring it to attention. Not a big deal. Miners are selling a lot. And their reserves, or how much they hold in their accounts, in their wallets, is uh, this on par with how much they had in uh, 2010, meaning they're selling a little bit more. And then uh, Charlie was uh, Cardano, Oracle. They went on the mainnet, and then we went over just what's going to happen in the next, hopefully, 15 years. Seems to be a good thing, actually, oh, if you're into crypto and energy and microchips. And that's it. Uh, yeah. 
What? Are you going to participate in the Cardano Summit in Switzerland? No. I will be in Puerto Rico at that point, whenever that is. <laughs> All right, so they didn't want to catch that dating site address. That's funny. Nice job, wrenches. Yeah, exactly. It does pay off, see? <laughs> Wear your combat vest. And I'm not wearing any, any of my armor stuff anymore. <laughs> the miners aren't really dumping. Remember, miners have to miners have to keep the lights on. So this happens all the time. Miners gotta sell, people gotta sell, which is how it is. And I think that's it. And lastly, one eight hundred beardy. That's a good way to stop it. All right. It's cold out here. I'm gonna go inside. So everybody, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Again, well, there's a couple of videos coming out. One I talked to uh, Tiffany Wong and Aaron Bennett from Celsius, and they gave me uh, a timeline and an update of what's going on with Celsius as it pertains to all the different uh, business opportunities and things that are happening. So I will edit that and give it out today. And on Friday, uh, two new staking videos on Near and um, not Polkadot, uh, Adam, uh, Adam or Cosmos. And I got to tell you, Adam and Cosmos it looks like a pretty great. Um, project. Now, again, I'm super biased because I've been buying, I've been dollar cost averaging it for some time now, but uh, makes sense to me. And we'll go from there, but that's it. So thanks so much, everybody for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, enjoy the day. Probably be a lot of sideways action and that's all. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.